Good morning, everyone. Well, throughout this week, we are looking at Matthew's Gospel, chapter 5. Um, and obviously, the Sermon on the Mount, much of the teaching of Jesus is contained in chapter 5 of Matthew's Gospel. But today, we look at two of the shortest parables in the, in the, in the Bible, in, in uh, verses 13 to 16. Uh, and Jesus says, um, you are the salt of the earth, and you are the light of the world. And basically, they're kind of one line of parables, sort of saying, this is a teaching I need to give to you. I think to uh, put things in perspective, some of you during COVID uh, had the unfortunate experience of losing your sense of taste. I think there must be a very frustrating thing to, to lose your sense of taste, something you really, really enjoy, but you, you, you can't taste it. You know, some people, for health reasons, may not have salt in their diet. Uh, understand that. But imagine food that doesn't taste at all like anything. And Jesus is saying, you know, you need to be that which brings flavor, which brings um, nourishment to some, but certainly which makes uh, food more tasty. You need to be that uh, flavor or that uh, sensation that makes um, the word of God, my message, um, make it appealing to people that they want it and that's an interesting one and then he says you're the light of the world and imagine the world without light of course everything would die because without the sun clearly the plants couldn't live and nor would we but they're saying you need to be the light of the world and we know all about not having light during load shedding and so forth it's a frustration we run around looking for alternative forms of, of illumination but imagine being that light that glows for somebody else to follow. Um, I know that uh, at this time of the year when we have some beautiful clear nights, it's a little chilly to go outside, but fantastic clear nights and you can see all the stars in the sky. And if you go out of the cities, it's even better. You know, I love a bit of satellite spotting myself to, to have a look at things, but you can see it better when there's no other distraction. And when there's no other distraction, we need to be that light. We need to bring that illumination to other people, to bring the message to, to Jesus. So to bring not only uh, light, but also to make it appealing. There's the message for today. Challenging, but uh, uh, certainly something that's attainable within our own lives. So have a wonderful day and uh, be open to the challenge and we'll see you again. God bless. Bye-bye.